Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good night everyone um, Hope you guys are doing well So in this Saturday night We're gonna be We're gonna have uh, some Posterior case Just like I promised yesterday But before the live demo I just want to introduce you to my instrument here since there's so many questions about uh, the instrument that I use especially for the carving okay maybe some of you already noticed about uh, the instrument that I always use in carving and I'm just going to explain further about my instrument and also I will save the life for sure Okay, so let's begin the lecture, okay? So now, um, I believe if you want to master at something, you want to become a, a master at something, you have to understand full about the basic. So in this case, let's talk further about a basic instrument that we use you know for posterior basic instrument this is four basic instrument that are always used yeah the the uh, this one is spatula this is condenser for uh, for the info this is the instrument from Stal Italiano yeah LMR LMR has a very good instrument build quality and then uh, the the uh, sharp sharp instrument here fissura this is uh, the one that I really like and also the applica applica is a very thin instrument i really like applica especially for the interior also for the posterior to make uh, carving in the proximal side so there's a saying that it's not about the gun but the man behind the gun you know the this quote I'm not literally 100% agree with the saying with this quote because I have a good analogy yeah this one is James Bond you see James Bond has its own pistol has its own signature pistol if we change James Bond gun with the water gun yeah what happened James Bond cannot kill his enemy so for me uh, we as a dentist yeah still need our gun still need our gun yeah the gun is still important this gun is still important just pick the one that suits you best like I always tell to everyone to every participant that you need to master all the the specific instrument yeah the one that you get used to for example I know People I know my college who who get used to use um, Explorer straight Explorer to do carving so that's good yeah cheap things doesn't mean that you cannot create a very good result yeah yeah you have to very get used to it uh, to every kind of uh, instrument yeah just pick the one that suits you best yeah no matter how expensive it is no matter how cheap it is for example if you have Hue 3d instrument if you have lm art instrument and you believe that you cannot that you can create a very good very aesthetic feeling from that instrument yes sure you can do that yeah the important thing is you get used to your instrument you get used to the one that you have and that you believe that you can do that yeah so for me, at the very first time I used this instrument, 
yeah this this one this one is from lm art as i already said yeah the the green one fissura this one is a very sharp instrument yeah very sharp instrument i like it but my fissure's character is a bit more sharp yeah i have a very deep and sharp fissures so that i want to create my self instrument my custom instrument that really really sharp and i can use to simplify my carving so that's why i create my own instrument here yeah this is my instrument this is my instrument i created by myself if you notice about the blue thing here and this the yellow one here this one is endodontic spreader yeah so basically this one is endodontic spreader this is number 30 this one is number 20. number 30 i use number 30 to make a mandatory uh, to make a primary anatomy yeah primary anatomy is a mandatory anatomy the one that you have to recreate in order to get a very good aesthetic or to get a um, the primal character on its specific tip yeah it comes with a solid edge yeah because it's uh, thick enough solid edge and i really like to make a separation between each composite with this instrument yeah primary anatomy for example the second molar has a plus sign here or the first molar plus sign with the tail in the distal cups and that's when i use uh, pr uh, the blue one to create a primary anatomy yeah even you can use a bigger spreader but i'm comfort with the blue one and this is one of a kind one of a kind tip one of a kind instrument one of a kind tools yeah the yellow one the yellow one is very flexible i bet this is the sharp sharpest instrument in the world yeah compared with the fisher if you, even if you compare it with the u3d with the lm art this one is very 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 sharp yeah and this is also bendable what i like the most about this yellow instrument is this one is bendable and also flexible so that you can bend it yeah even for reaching the the very posterior tooth for example the second molar or third molar maxilla you can easily bend it and it's this very very sharp if you compare it to any other instrument let's say the fissura or let's say the hue 3d this one is sharp sharper yeah so i really like this sharp instrument since it uh, it is uh, match my character i really like sharp fissures so that's why I really like this yellow spreader. Yeah, even you can change it with a, a thinner spreader. For example, the 15 spreader, the the white one. Yeah, and I have it. I have it now, and I will use it in live demo. So this one is to create a secondary anatomy. You see, if you see, uh, if you can see my Instagram posting, you know. Uh, my characterization for uh, carving is I have a very complicated secondary anatomy yeah I created with the help of this yellow instrument you see the yellow picture here I created with the you uh, the help of the yellow instrument yeah actually the secondary anatomy do is the one that you uh, it's not mandatory to to recreate but if you can make one it will enhance your aesthetic result for the posterior so this is how i use it so like i already said before that Creating posterior carving is just like creating a separation between each cup, between each composite. And then after you create a separation, you need to make it close to each other so that you will create a very sharp fissures, very sharp separation. And it will create uh, anatomy. 
and remember the three steps yeah the first step is take a composite big amount with the condenser with the plugger and then give a pressure follow the cups inclination do well adapted composite with the brush and then create a separation with the blue one with the blue spreader after you see the gap after you see the separation it's time for you it's time for the your brush to make it close If you notice some gap here, I will close it later with my flower ball. Or if you want, you can use stain. Yeah, the blue, uh, sorry, the brown stain or the ochre stain to recreate the natural stains. Okay, and so many questions about the polishing system as well. Yeah, everyone keep asking me about the polishing system, the polishing that I use in order to make a very smooth and very shiny polishing surface, very shiny and shiny uh, filling surface. So actually, there's a lot of polishing system in this uh, world. Yeah. But basically, what I use is this this one, yeah, the one that I already told you. This one is a very good instrument. Changed my old dentistry. Yeah, so uh, this is called Dicom If Twist. But actually, this one is for the interior. Yeah, I have a very specific uh, If for posterior, and I really like the uh, the instrument a lot. Yeah, this one is the Di Dicom If Germany. Yeah, uh, the name is uh, Aquaflex. It can go through the very deep of your fissures, so that uh, it will polish all the surface. If you see, if you notice the previous twist, yeah, the the round uh, form will harder to reach the very deep fissures that you create. But this one is very specific. So that you can enter all the very diffusers, so that all the surface can be polished, can be polished very well. Okay. So if you guys have a lot of question, you you uh, you have you can. Um, you can write your question on the questions box and we will do Q and A after all the session done and I will change the camera now and let's do the live demo okay Oops. so today we're gonna be doing life hands on about lower two my instrument names is I don't know I don't have name in my instrument because this is one of a kind instrument I think it's only one in the world maybe he since I created by myself so let me put the flash on so I think the image is very very clear here and this is 
class to mo yeah class to mo i don't know how's the picture quality is it good enough So how about we use some rubber dam? Do you want me to do rubber dam? Okay. Okay, we put rubber dam first, okay? Or not? Basically, here's the one that I use, rubber damp pink one. Okay, turn off the command. This is pink rubber dam that I use from key dam. And at the very first time, I will put the frame on, just like usual. Yeah, put the rubber first. <coughs> first then I create a hole and then I create the custom template yeah this is the easiest way to place rubber dam yeah the more you isolate the better visualization so make sure you do multiple isolation in every case yeah I will do three isolation here okay just take the pencil and then create marking in the central of the tooth and then Take your puncher for the molar. I will do the bigger hole, the biggest one, and for the premolar, I will do the middle hole. Okay. then don't forget to use the lubricant here yeah I have lubricant here I will stop to use hand sanitizer because it's pricey very expensive yeah and then start to place the rubber on yeah remember the easiest way is to pass the interproximal first yeah, pass the the tooth that needs to be clamped first. Yeah, you can get your assistant to do this, or you can you you can do it by yourself. Okay. And then you have to. I think I lost my forcep. Where is my forcep?
<laughs> okay, we skip to use forcep maybe. Just because it's only mannequin, only pentum. Yeah, it's okay to not use forcep, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's okay to not to skip the clamp. It will stay there forever. See? time for the closing okay. the inversion inversion is a very mandatory yeah since still there will be a leakage there cause by the uh, improper placement of the rubber dam yeah you need to invert you need to flip all the rubber dam to the cervical yeah you make sure that you do that slowly yeah unless if you do local anesthesia yeah because sometimes it's a bit uncomfort to the patient okay so now this is my cavity yeah the mesial mesial and I have buckle also yeah maybe we have to make it landscape like this yeah so Remember the previous life, I already create uh, this matrix, remember the one with holes and the flaws. This actually will work, you know. Yeah, this is actually will work. Especially for the simple case or very deep case where uh, you are unable to place in, uh, properly the, the matrix yeah because sometimes the cavity is very deep very subjunctiva this is the alternative to solve that case okay so let's see so basically the hole yeah the hole that close to the Gingiva will be the uh, will be touching the floor of the gingiva, the gingiva box. See? Oh, I forget. First, that you need to do small uh, to do to pass the rubber on the distal, yeah. And this one. And this one also on the distal and then put the matrix see put the matrix and then what you need to do is to tighten it Tighten it more, yeah, until you can see that the marginal adaptation or the adaptation of the matrix and the tooth is good, yeah, marginal seal is good, okay. So, everyone keep asking me about doctor, how if we what kind of ring do you use? what is the best ring in the world you know there's no best ring best matrix because matrix itself cannot guarantee you a properly a, a, a very good contact you know, what can guarantee the contact is your metric placement and your marginal seal 
okay make sure there's there were no leakage there and don't forget about the buckle here yeah since there's a close there that goes uh, cover the cavity Okay, let's do some bonding. <clears throat> let's do bonding. Take the micro brush. Okay, let's see the command to see how everything goes is it clear the picture <clears throat> how's the picture now is it good what about the wedge yeah this close is my wedge you know so i don't i don't use wedge here Okay, everything's good. Turn off command. <laughs> everything's good, but I lost my forcep. But it's okay. The forcep is under quarantine. Okay. So for the for the base layer, I would like to put a little bit of flow well, you know, to cover all the undercut to make sure that, that there's there no leakage there because the common mistake that affect the longevity of the plastic restoration is the marginal leakage or marginal uh, step yeah so always step that can make the patient uncomfort i bet uh, you have a patient with that condition yeah because i have also the patient who complain of after class 2 restoration and that then they're feeling there's still a sharp edge there <clears throat> so make sure you create a very good marginal adaptation so in this case i would like to place a little bit of flow over here yeah a little bit of flow ball here Take your spread spreader or sharp instrument to spread flowable uh, all over the surface. Yeah, and the idea is just to seal all. surface and you want to make sure about the marginal you can use yeah you can use your forcep yeah to make it round in this side or me sometimes I just only push in this area with my okay So time for curing. Cure. So this is Saturday, right? 
I almost forget the day, you know. Just because of the quarantine, I start to lose my mind, and I can't remember the day. I think the flash is off. Okay, also for the buckle, I would like to put a little bit of flow over here. Yeah, just to cover all the surface. job is to make the proximal first okay proximal I use the enamel yeah this one is from Tokuyama you can use any kind of composite that you get used to you can use Tokuyama you can use 3M can use Ifoclar, any kind of composite. There's no best best composite, you know. You can use any kind of composite as long as you get used to the character, the handling, and you know how to deal with that. How's the picture? Is it blur? No, right? So make sure that you have a very tight contact here. Use your sharp instrument, take out all the excess. Don't don't forget to relax, you know. Okay. Hmm. Forget the excess. Excess. Excess is your enemy. I mean, excess on the proximal. Yeah, but you have actually, it's better to have excess. Yeah, as long as you can reach the excess so that you can make it round after the finishing or when you do polishing or finishing and then you can take your micro brush dip with the modeling resin yeah 
yeah make sure that uh, you create a seamless margin between the proximal side and then the cavity okay cut the excess again Make sure the proximal attack. And then just before you cure, don't forget to push the matrix toward the tooth so that you create a very tight contact. Yeah, this is very important just before you cure make sure that you push the matrix toward the measure yeah so you will create a very tight contact so you need to create that tight contact yeah you will see some uh, excess here that you need to uh, was, uh, I will show you how to deal with the step here yeah so basically what you need is your flow flow ball yeah you need some flow ball here You need flow ball, a little bit of flow ball, and then you need to seal all the sharp area. So that when you do the finishing, you will easier to have a round contact there. So if you maybe wonder about why can I make a very round, smooth, this is the secret, you know. So I close that area to make it smooth with the flowable. Because sometimes there's an excess there. that you need to close with the flow ball okay In this side you can easily deal with this excess by using the softlex after the restoration done okay then cure if you like to reduce the proximal with the softlex now you are allowed to do that but for me, usually I will do carving first and then I will do that later. Okay. So this is the proximal and now let's see how let's me let's measure the cavity. Okay. 
if you have the cavities a little bit deep you know deep enough you can add some dent in there and make sure that the space for the enamel is only 2 to 2.5 millimeters yeah 2 to 2.5 millimeters yeah so let's take a dent in now <coughs> You need very opaque dentin. So how's the picture? Picture's good, right? Because I cannot see it actually, yeah. I see, I see, I see a little bit blurry, so that's why I see the tooth directly, you know. It's a bit blurry, right? Okay, turn off. I don't know, but I feel it's a little bit blurry. Okay, dentin, dentin. How to choose dentin? Actually, I have recipe for dentin. High chroma dentin and high value enamel. Yeah, the dentin, the yellowish dentin that I that you have in your clinic. Let's say A2, A3, A4. You use A4. Enamel is the highest value. You can use um, A1. Yeah. So the idea is to cover all the dark area. Yeah. High chroma means the yellowish dentin yellowish dentin that you have and then cure now time for the carving let's start with the enamel yeah I will restore the buckle first buckle don't forget the buckle because sometimes we forget about the buckle side <clears throat> take a big amount yeah make it roll don't forget take a big amount of composite And then press it gently. Ah, I think it's better. Eh? Uh, I know the problem. It's the focus. <laughs> one is clear see the problem is from the three pot I think Clear. 
bear. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm go too close with the with the image, so that's why you cannot see it perfectly. I think this one perfect now, yeah. Because I cannot see it. I cannot see it. I cannot see the tooth. That's why. Okay, for buckle, sometimes I do only one layer here, like this. Yeah, just take a big amount. And then do like this, reduce. And then take the your brush. So do the buckle pit just like doing interior. Yeah, sometimes don't uh, forget about the the labial. This is the labial, right? So make it like like you are doing the interior. So instead of you use dentin, a yellow dentin, a yellowish dentin, like for the occlusal filling, you use for uh, you use the recipe for the interior. Yeah. Don't use recipe same recipe with the occlusal filling. Yeah, just make it flat like this first. Now the trick is from the from the uh, from the instrument, yeah. You need the very sharp instrument, yeah. The one that I use here. Just do scratching. I will take the brush first. The hair. This comes from the brush, I think. Okay. And then you do like this. Oh. Huh. Scratch one scratch done. And then there is a separation there that you need to close. Don't forget. Close, 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 tapping with the brush. And the buckle done. Yeah, it's as simple as that to create a buckle pit. Or if you want to spend your time, more time to create a buckle pit, you can place one layer here first and then follow, followed by the, the other layer. Yeah, it's up to you. Okay. <clears throat> but I want to simplify all. So one layer and then doing scratch just like I did now this is the first molar so that you need to put at least five layers of composite start from the Start from the Michel buckle or Michel lingual is up to you. <coughs> but for me, I would like to put the Michel buckle or eh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Michel buckle here, yeah.
jadi ini alat ini nih kalau ada orang di Indonesia yang nonton ya ini alat ini nih kalau ada anak umpat nih ya ini tuh beli di dokter Eka dulu eh dokter Eka siapa tuh Mbak Eka Mbak Eka yang ajaib kenapa ajaib karena ketika kalian kelihatan lagi butuh banget biasanya harganya suka dimahalin ya sih misalkan nih mau beli aljinat kelihatan lagi lusuh lagi capek gitu terus kayak apa gara-gara kebanyakan ngabisin aljinat terus panik gitu kan mukanya mau beli lagi refill nah ketika muka kalian panik si mbak tuh bisa baca tuh ketika kayak gitu langsung dimahalin sama dia saya pernah soalnya papasan sama teman pas nanya harganya kok beda 20.000 ribu eh sialan ternyata dimahalin cuy aduh tipu dah begitulah mbak Eka oke okay. <tuh> Oke, okay, don't forget, don't forget your job as a dentist, of course. Uh, take the instrument first, uh, instrument lagi, and then create the well, well, well adapted layers here by using the composite hmm, kayaknya ngomong tuh bahasa Indonesia aja gitu capek ya ngomong bahasa Inggris kesel yuk lidahnya aduh sebanyak makan keju oke okay. So make sure that you have very well adapted composite so that you will save so much time when doing finishing and polishing. So after this, after you have a well adapted composite, you have to do carving. So basically, you are not allowed to create sharp, only that sharp form so create a little bit of wavy wavy anatomy yeah if you want to look like a pro you want if you want it to look like uh, very natural you need you need to create a little bit of curvy just like a natural tooth here you see I will create some natural and curvy yeah this is your carving instrument job it will do it will do the tricks trust me yeah but since it's 15 number 15 yeah jadi Eh, jadi lagi kan, ceprosan. So, you will not find it really easy to bring all the composite. So you need the thicker one. Yes. But actually, mine got broke. Yeah, I see, this is very bad. But I can make money with the with this instrument. Okay, so I'd like to put some secondary anatomy. I don't know. I really like secondary anatomy, you know. So basically, what you do is just doing stabbing technique like this, very gently. If you see it, uh, it's too big. You need to make it close just like that ini malam minggu berfaedah ceritanya ya nonton gigi lagi bukannya nonton netflix kali-kali lah ya
okay don't forget to make it a little bit of curvy don't too stiff I can spend a whole night to recreate yeah because I really like carving I, I, I really enjoy doing this Okay, take your magic. If you have microscope, we will see better. Or magnification. So for the fresh graduate, yeah, I recommend you to you to buy a microscope. Eh, microscope lagi malam. To buy the loop. Karena dulu saya saya kan gak punya uang tuh zaman zaman dulu habis ini ya habis lulus saya tuh beli loop-loop Cina tuh di eBay harganya lumayan cuman ya untuk ukuran loop loop kan harganya fantastis ya itu bisa kebeli sih misalnya ke terjangkau lah untuk yang Chinese Chinese brand tuh. so for you guys ya yeah, for the the fresh graduate I recommend you to do to beli uh, to buy some magnification so magnification basically will change dentistry your dentistry jadi ada tiga sebenarnya hal yang merubah cara kalian berpraktek ya yang pertama itu magnifikasi yang pertama itu isolasi eh yang kedua itu isolasi yang ketiga adalah uh, illuminat ilumi Oh ilumina, iluminati lagi. Iluminasi, iluminasi itu beda sama iluminati. Iluminasi itu pencahayaan. Pencahayaan itu jadi ada I will I will talk in bahasa first, oke? Okay? Jadi ada tiga magnifikasi pembesaran. Ya, pembesaran ketika kalian melihat segala sesuatu lebih besar. Aduh, ini mau habis nih Instagramnya ya kalian bakal bisa ngebuat sesuatu atau bisa hacking semua pekerjaan lah intinya gitu kedua kalau kalian isolasi itu akan menambah kenyamanan kalian saat bekerja ketiga pencahayaan itu ada hubungannya sama magnifikasi jadi kalian gak bisa me- you cannot treat what you cannot see intinya gitulah you cannot treat what you cannot see kalian gak bisa ngerjain sesuatu yang gak kalian lihat gitu loh Okay, uh, I will talk in bah- in English after this, but I will end the session first, yeah, because I don't want to uh, repeat the same mistake yesterday. So I will end and then I will I will be back after this. Okay.